Hello, Colas. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with um, Sergio Busquets, as it has been reported that the Barcelona captain has received a dizzying offer from Saudi Arabian giants over a January move. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about this report claiming that Barcelona, AC Milan all remain interested in signing this Real Madrid forward Marco Asensio. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, before we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. In a shock move, Saudi Arabian heavyweight Al Nash have tabled a dizzying offer to Barcelona captain Sergio Busquets to lure him away from Camp Nou in the upcoming winter transfer window. This claim comes from Mundo Deportivo, who report that the leaders of the Saudi Pro League are keen to incorporate the signing of the Barca skipper next month, along with former Real Madrid superstar Cristiano Ronaldo. Al Nash's pursuit of Ronaldo has been well publicized with reports even suggesting that the Portuguese icon has already agreed a mammal contract with a Riyadh-based outfit. Now, our Nash managed by Rudy Garcia are uh, also intent on roping in Busquets. The 34-year-old is in the final year of his contract with Barcelona, which has sparked off speculations over his future. Reports in the past had suggested that Busquets had asked to leave the club in January itself to move to the MLS in Miami, to be specific. However, he had been convinced by manager Xavi Hernandez to remain at least until the end of the season. Furthermore, attempts have been made to pursue the former Spanish international to stay at Camp Nou for another season, with a veteran midfielder yet to make a decision. However, Al Nasr have now made a move to try and tempt Busquets to join their project by doubling a financial appealing offer. The Saudi Arabian giants have been exciting experienced players from the European market in recent times, having recruited the likes of David Ospina, Luis Gustavo, um, Anderson Talisca and Alvaro Gonzalez with Ronaldo also likely to join them following his exit from Manchester United. Arnaz wished to sign Busquets as another marquee addition has to look to bolster their squad and boost the profile of their domestic competitions. Arnaz director Goran um, Vosevic has passed ties with Barcelona having represented the club as a player while also working as a scout for the Catalans between 2017 and 2021 so he will be familiar with with what Busquets brings and his contract situation as well but it seems unlikely that the Barcelona captain will leave um, for Saudi Arabia midway through the season. Sergio Busquets contract of course still being the hot topic of discussion Barcelona are trying to convince him to stay according to multiple reports lately but the player seems as though he wants to leave. Um, of course, he have been he have been under serious criticism for his performances on some big games like in the Champions League. Of course, many fans have been criticizing him. Um, definitely, many fans will be really disappointed by the fact that Barca are trying to still keep Busquets despite everything his age, and of course, he he does not bring so much like he usually did. Um, so, this report claiming how our Nas from Saudi Arabia offering him a mouth watering contract offer. Uh, it looks unlikely to be honest because our Nas wants him to come back in January alongside Cristiano Ronaldo. Of course, after his troublesome time at United in a second spell, likely to go to our Nas as well. So, talking about January move, it seems as though it won't be the case. Um, definitely, Barca will still have the right to ask for money from our Nash. If they want to take him in January, since as his contract will still be on. Because let's not forget, Busquets' contract expires in June next year. So there will still be six months for his contract before it comes to an end.
So as it stands, Barca also are trying to scout the market for potential replacement in case yeah, you know, if, if, if Busquets doesn't listen to your you know to their plea for him to stay. There are a lot of players who have been talking about who have been linked, like Kante, Jorginho, Ruben Neves, Ruben Mendy, and so on and so forth. But you know, let's see how it goes. Busquets have a lot of I don't think Busquets will like a destination. Inter Miami have been the most talked about by the way. And now talking about Saudi Arabian Giants are now. So there's still a lot of things that will be decided from now to the end of the season. Or even be in fact perhaps in January that is coming next month. Let's see what actually I was scared to say about his contract situation. Then on to the final story of discussion with Real Madrid winger Marco Asensio set to become a free agent in the summer. A number of top clubs across Europe have been taking an interest in his situation. But according to Mundo Deportivo, Barcelona and AC Milan are among the clubs keeping tabs on the development surrounding Asensio as they remain interested in signing the 26-year-old on a boss deal in 2023. Reports of Barca's interest in Asensio have been doing the rounds for quite some time now. The Spaniard International himself has teased a move to Spotify Camno in the recent past, although he did um, renounce on the statements he had made. But the rumors have not gone away at Barca, uh, you know, and Barca are believed to continue retaining an interest in the Real Madrid A's ahead of the summer of 2023. Memphis Depay is certainly to leave Spotify Camno in the summer or even in the coming January transfer window. Um, there have been speculations that the Blaugrana could also cash in on Rafinha if he does not kick or he does not kick on in the second half of the season, but I very much doubt that. It could now free up a slot in the attacking department for Barcelona and Asensio could be seen as a target to fill that void. Given that he will be a free agent and is represented by Josh Mendes, who has a strong relationship with Juan Laporta, the possibility of a transfer, even if it would be controversial, remains a possibility. However, AC Milan are also keen on signing Asensio with the Rosonari director, Paolo Maldini, a strong admirer of the Real Madrid winger. At the same time, the possibility of a new contract at the Santiago Bernabeu is also not ruled out. As things stand, there is nothing certain about Asensio's future at the upcoming few months with, um, you know, with determining how the situation resolves itself. But Barcelona are continuing to monitor the Real Madrid winger situation. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.